If a restaurant had a meal made of bugs on the menu, would you eat it? If the price is right, is a meal made of bug protein for you? Now, on The Brew. Wani and dining out and about now getting more expensive and restaurants to try to cut down are using, well, other types of meat, plants, but overseas they actually serve meals made out of bugs. You get that in a gourmet restaurant, that's the question. Would you eat a meal made out of bugs in a gourmet restaurant? What do you think? Uh, for me, this is a big no-no. Uh, even when we went up to Seattle, they had, they had the, uh, crickets. The, the crickets at the ballpark and it's gimmicky and I love trying gimmicky foods. But this is one thing where I'm drawing the line. And I know people are going to disagree. I know a lot of people are going to say yes. What about you? I would try, because if you're at like a Michelin star restaurant, like a gourmet restaurant, they're probably going to do it right. It's going to be served well. And as long as you don't sit there and think about what they are you're eating, then I would try, if it's like dousing a barbecue sauce, I'm from Pittsburgh, I need condiments. So if it's putting something <laughs> good like that, that's fine. But it's got to be prepared well. I don't want to be eating like wings of bugs in my food, you know, or like knowing it's millipedes or something. But if it's mashed up in a paste, I mean, Christ, I eat McRibs. I mean, what's in that thing? I mean, that's a good point. And when you eat at restaurants anyhow, half the time, if you're allowed to have a certain amount of bugs in your food. Like, that's not like going to get yourself a great pending in a restaurant. So we eat bugs right. and don't even know it. So that's what I was going to say is like, all of us, everybody watching this, everybody, we've all eaten bugs. We just. Yeah. Accidentally. And I mean, they're all over the place here in the big city. You just hope they don't, one doesn't come roll across you just the just don't want to, like, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to consent to eating yeah. bugs. I know that that happened before. Well, let's see what you think. What's our first answer? <laughs> the Amazing Mentalist says, yep, that's why they call me a love bug. Okay. Herbie. Remember that movie? Okay. Remember Herbie okay. the love okay. bug? Okay. <laughs> Rock for Guitar says, only if they're stir fried in a jungle mesquite spicy sauce with frog legs. Then you feed them to your drunken bestie. I wouldn't do that to you. No, thank you. <laughs> there's some there's some besties that I have who might enjoy that though. <laughs> Let's not drop any names. <laughs> but we're not gonna go there. Starman, uh, I think this is a thing overseas, but not in the U.S. But with the rising cost of food, why not? If this is a high-end restaurant and the chef can make something incredible to the point you don't know it's bugs, I'd try it. Just keep the price down. Bugs are plentiful. It's kind of like my answer, but I do like where he says keep the price down, bugs are plentiful. Because like, it's Yeah, really, it's not exactly a great selling point, but it, it is very much true. And it is like, it's uh, the first thing I thought was your Instead answer. of hunting for deer, you're hunting for cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for the poll now. Let's see, what do you think? Would you eat bugs? Survey says? Survey says? No! 100% oh. of people, I don't know how many people voted, but they did not like, they agree with me on wow, this Wow, you guys went all in on the no. <laughs> I forgot about that. I printed it out. Wow, okay. <laughs> we didn't even have to print it out. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of. Okay, so you're not doing it. All right, well, understandable. I mean, again, it's not an American thing, but overseas, it's a thing. I mean, you, you know, if you go to Japan, you see what they do with like live seafood crawling around on a plate and stuff. You're expected just to stab a fork into it and eat it. I wouldn't want to do that either. That's just. Right. There's all kinds of different cultures, have all kinds of different cuisines, and bugs is just not one that I want to try. Yeah. It might be a part of a lot of different places, though. But you know what our fans should try? Click that like subscribe button. Yeah, there it is for all the fun here on the big channel. Lots of things to talk about. And uh, we're not going to do an Eating Bugs web show, though. I don't think I, I would try the crickets, though, up in, in, in Safeco, not Safeco anymore, in Seattle for the Mariners play. I would try that. But outside of that, I will uh, I will support you from the sidelines. Anyway, but they sell out. That's the thing. Like, it's that's you go up to Seattle try to buy those at the ballpark. Nope, there's only, you know, it's like when you go to Yankee yeah. Stadium, they have giveaways for the first 18,000 guests. That's kind of with the crickets up there in Seattle. So you got to get in line early. They're remarkably popular for a poll that had a, a no 100%. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Clearly nobody from Seattle voted in the poll. <laughs> All right, y'all. Jersey John Ryan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time, I hope.